what's up everybody sky here and we are going to be doing a unboxing of the neptunia virtual stars limited edition um yeah as far as north american shit goes i'm not really going to be like on the bleeding edge of of unboxing it because i'm like most of the time now i get it late and half the time i've already seen or like i have the limited edition from japan already I'm like, they're trying, like, new shit with Idea Factory, but I'm like, I kind of want them to just do what, um, <clears throat> I kind of just want them to do with, uh, what they did with Neptunia V2, when they kind of started doing limited editions, for real, for real, just bring the Japanese version over, bro, I'm like, there's literally crazy people, I'm pretty sure there's crazy people just like me, that will buy the a hundred and fucking, what, $160 limited edition that comes with all that extra bullshit and stuff. I'm like, I buy them down there every time at this point. But, um, here is the box. Um, we're just gonna go around. But I, I, I like, um, I like what they're doing because they got some, some new weird shit in this one. Um, but, um, here's the Japanese one. It's basically the exact same cover. So, but the Japanese limited editions always have like this on the back most of the time. So, but I like how they've been keeping the covers or trying to switch it out or something. But um, it came with these uh, trading cards, which they're doing now. Um, this Nora one is pretty cool. I like it. And then um, I guess this is uh, February's trading card. So we got that. Uh, I just had that damn thing in my hand and I already lost it. My little thing I've been using to open packages and shit. So, uh, yeah. I'm gonna open up the Gamu. So we got the Gamu here. They've been doing it lately, too, to where the limited edition comes outside of the box. So, should have reversible cover. So, yeah, I appreciate they're still doing manuals, even though it's very basic. No remote play. I don't know if they have remote play in the Japanese one, either. I didn't check. I haven't even beaten this game, dude. I'm like eight or nine hours in. It's kind of repetitive. Um, I'm like, I liked it, but I don't know. And I'm like, as far as, uh, cause I beat reverse, like the week that I got it, it's extremely short, dude. That shit's like 10 hours. Like I think I beat it in like 11 and that was just cause, um, I wanted to do a couple of like side quests that you didn't need to do. But, um, that shit's, I, I forgot how short Rebirth 1 is. It is, it's, um, it's basically just a, a, another Rebirth, but it's got, like, all the shit from, it's got, like, all the shit from Rebirth 1 Plus and a little bit more. And, um, they also have, a what the fuck is it? It's something that I was trying, they, they've added, they've added, like, a lot of graphic type shit, like, I don't remember screen space reflections ever being in a Neptunia game, but they're definitely in reverse to where, if you look at, like, a puddle of water or something, it's, like, some good-ass reflections in there, I thought it was ray trace reflections at first, but I'm like, there's no way that they're doing ray trace and shit already, it has to be, like, screen space reflection, but I'm like, I could be wrong, it could be ray trace reflections, and I'm just gonna get shitted on, but, um, this is the vinyl that they have and i'm like it's fucking weird to have like japan i don't i mean they do have like fucking japanese vinyls but i don't have any vinyls i don't own a vinyl player so i don't even know what the fuck i'm gonna do with this but um i think it's actually like a pink disc or something so i'll actually open this up um where the fuck did i put my damn it was just sitting over here dude i literally grabbed it so when i had to open shit i wouldn't have to dig around but I remember, I think I seen it somewhere where it was like pink or some shit. So let's open this bitch up. Let's see what we got going on here, Ru. Here we go. I'm like, I find it pretty cool that they're doing shit like this. Like trying to make it different from the Japanese version. But I'm like, I'm too far in at this point. Um, I'm always gonna double dip, bro. It, I just can't, I can't wait. <laughs> I can't fucking wait, dude. I'm gonna fucking double dip. So here we go. Oh, it actually is like, 
that's pretty cool. This, what the fuck? I know this actually probably costs quite a lot to fucking make, dude. I wasn't expecting to see, um, is it two of them? Nah, there's like some, I'm glad I decided to open this, because usually I don't open crap like this. So, oh, dude, this is sick. So we got, um, sick-ass poster. I like Neptune's design in here. Like, in-game, the, the, um... The, the character, I'm like, the character models are excellent. They've actually, like, stepped it up a lot to where they're really high, high quality with their tech and shit. Here's the lyric book. So, what? It's not that much. There is a song that always plays until you unlock new shit. Um, like, when you go into the extra world to do the fucking all-out attack or whatever. I can't remember what it's called. It's catchy as hell. I think it is this unlimited song uh, by Mutual or whatever, these two chicks. But one thing that I found pretty cool is that they got, like, hella VTubers in there. From what I could remember, they were supposed to get, like, Kazuna AI, but I never really checked for DLC or anything. But um, I remember hearing something about that. So here's the vinyl. This looks fucking sick, actually. I don't know. It looked like mine came out bad. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe it was just some weird ass, uh, like, fucking, um, whatchamacallit. Because I remember seeing, um, I watched some video, like, not that long ago. It's some dude on YouTube that always does technology, like, old technology stuff. I think his, his channel is, like, Technology Connections or something. It's this weird old, he's not old, but he's like, and he's not weird. I don't even know why I started like fucking down in his ass like that. But he does like weird old shit, just going through all types of just old bullshit. And he just goes through and just like tells you all about it. Like he did a whole bunch of stuff about CD-ROMs. And I'm like, a lot of people don't even know what the fuck a CD-ROM is. <laughs> like that was the shit back then, bro. Ah, oh, sick. I got another card in here. So we got another card. This one's for March too. What the hell? That's weird. There was two of them for March because I thought the norm one was was in there. This was like in the box. So okay, props to that. We got the sick ass art book. I like. I mean the sick ass uh, steel book. I appreciate them doing shit like this because somebody like me, I love steel books. But one thing that I've been noticing lately. Is this like, if you're going to give the steel book, don't even give me the regular one, bro. I just want the steel book because now I'm going to have, I'm going to have two fucking <laughs> discs on my shelf now. But I'm like, I still appreciate it. The steel books are actually really high quality too. There's like a lot of, this is, this is sick. Like I'm not even going, hey, I love steel books too, but it's just at the point now to where that shit's taking up too much space. Um, I believe this is the exact same, uh, OST the, that's in the um let me open this up that's in the japanese version the thing is is this isn't a complete ost i looked in the sound test when i was gonna upload the ost and i'm like i don't really like doing osts unless it's complete and there was literally like 70 plus tracks in there bro like most of the good songs in the game aren't even on the fucking ost dude so i just said fuck it i'm not doing it but there's some good songs in here. Maybe somebody will take their time. Maybe when it comes to PC, it'll be easier to just rip it. But I was like, man, I ain't got time to be fucking record shit for like four fucking hours <laughs> to fucking upload a OST. <laughs> like, fuck that, bro. I got better shit to do. <laughs> okay, then we got the we got the art buku. But I'm like, there is some cool shit here in this game, too. I remember um, there's like this area in one of the <clears throat> it's like this area in one of uh, one of the parts of the game to where you can go and um, it literally just pulls up a whole bunch of YouTube videos to where you get like tokens that reset and it pulls up literally like actual YouTube videos and then you can go to the YouTube video and get like accessories and all kinds of weird stuff like that. I found that super cool to where it actually tied into like the real world, like not YouTube isn't like real world, but it tied into like actually what's going on in our world to where you go to this video and then it'll give you, you know, 
like some fucking accessory or like some points or some kind of crap. It was super cool when I first found out about it. So I found that super sick. But um I couldn't run the um I couldn't run the sword chicks. I had to run like Neptune and Noir in them because it was just I couldn't get a good hit on the 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 um the enemies and stuff. <clears throat> I could only um get get you know get stuff going when I got like a shooter <laughs> because like it's really hard to like get a lock on the enemies. I don't know, maybe I didn't spend too I literally only played with them for like 10 seconds and I was like, "Nope, can't do it." So I went back to, to Neptune and them. But um oh, that's pretty cool. I'm actually surprised. I think this didn't even cost that much more than a um a regular edition too. Um it it was a little bit more, but not too much. So uh yeah. That is the unboxing of the Neptunia Virtual Stars Limited Edition. Since I don't have anything else for real, I'm going to go ahead and do what the hell did you get, bro? So, uh, I only got like four or five things. What is all this crap? Oh, yeah. So, um, I've been trying to get PlayStation Move controllers for literally like ever. I wish I would have went ahead and bought some back when, um, when they were selling them at like GameStop and stuff for like 20 bucks. But literally, they're selling these move controllers for $50 just for one everywhere. And I found this at um, a Goodwill somewhere, and it comes with the one move controller and the camera. I just need the move controller, and I think I only pay like 20 bucks for this. So I think trying to find another move controller, I'm going to um, try to find it somewhere like that because I only need one now. But I'm like, I'm not paying 50 and I was super close to uh, buying the set but that shit still sells for like a hundred dollars for the two move controllers but they just announced like the other day that they're coming out with a new vr system but i'm like y'all better not leave us i know you probably gonna do it but at least give us a chance because i'm like i barely even use my psvr but i used it like eight times <laughs> but it was fun for the times that i did use it so i'm like i feel like i got my money's worth out of it but it should have been like a hundred bucks cheaper than what i paid bro i think i bought it when it was still like 400 or some shit or 299 i bought it when it was like full price bro i was like shit <laughs> but uh yeah i got this near automata 2b uh for the nendoroid shit sick love near um i believe the reincarnation game comes out uh like next month and i got the uh I got the white snow edition of that or whatever the hell. So I'm gonna have the limited edition of that. And then I got this, which is, I don't know. I've never, I've seen these before, but I never got them because they're uh, for like stuff I don't really care about. But this is apparently like some little, like little mini figures. I'm gonna open this up because I'm actually interested in what's in here. I don't know if it's one figure that you pose or if it's three different figures, but this is desktop army. Um, Damn, more tape on here than I thought it would was. No, I'm cutting the box. God damn it. Oh, yep. It's literally just three different figures. So here we go. Do you got to put it together? Because these boxes seem a little bit too small. Hmm. Damn, there's so much tape on all this crap, dude. We're gonna open this. They gotta just be like pop together figures. But I'm like considering, yeah, they're little. Why the hell is there so much tape on this crap, bro? It's like they they like three side taped it. I don't think I've ever seen that much tape on any type of figure. They usually just put one. Oh shit, you gotta paint. Nah, okay. So it's like little mini figures. I did damn this motherfucker small as hell. So it's like. Let me get this out of the way. It's like really small figures. I would say that's what shit. That's like a couple inches or something. But yeah, it looks like you uh she got like some accessories and stuff like that. Yeah, she got like her uh at least the figure is something that's already damn near put together. It I got my leg falling off mine, but yeah. That's pretty cool. I I I I'll see where they're coming from. This is just like sh little shits that you sit on your desk i've never really been like a fan of like little small ass figures but that that's cool i, I love i guess so i guess it's fucking sick 
So yeah, we got that. And then um, this is the steel book that uh, came with Persona 5 Strikers. I'm actually too lazy to go get the game. I got the game, though, but this is the steel book that uh, you got for it if you pre-ordered it. I got the PS4 version, so um, I played a little bit. But I played this game when it was a... Uh, when it came out in Japan, I played the demo. It's good. From what I played the demo, I, I've only played like 30 minutes of the English version. But I remember the demo being really good. And I'm like, this is fucking Persona, bro. Like, this shit's sick. And then I got Bravely Default 2. Um, I got this because I want to give it a try. But what I really don't like is I played the demos that they came out with. I just, I'm like, bro, y'all got rid of the really good art. I'm like, I love Bravely Default so much because it had like that, because of the limited tape limitations of the 3DS, it had like that watercolor, like just really good art style, style. And they literally got rid of it with this game. So um, I don't like the way it looks at all. It looks really retarded, but um we'll see where it goes i'm actually gonna play it um because lately i've been bouncing between cold war zombies outbreak i'm I'm addicted to zombies again cold war zombies outbreak it's like what we needed it's not what i wanted but i feel like that's what we needed because zombies kind of was at that level where it was just you go in here and just get some shit going on and then you just die <laughs> but outbreak is actually pretty fun where it, it puts a whole bunch of different elements into the game and i've been bouncing through that and i finally got around to playing fire emblem three houses and i'm like dude why the hell did i not play that game when it i literally got it when it came out and when i first loaded it up i had literally played it for eight minutes dude i didn't even give the game a chance but i've been stuck on that game it's super good bro <laughs> so i can't get anything done because it's like i'm playing zombies or fucking three houses so um trying to figure it out there but uh yeah that was me unboxing the neptunia virtual stars limited edition and then that's the other little crap that i have um because i don't think i have anything else coming this month as of right now but we'll see so uh yeah we'll see you guys in the next one peace out